What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome. I'm going to show you guys how you are able to find every single spike for every single legendary Pokemon in order to unlock the ruins and you're going to catch all four of the dark type legendary pokemon from this video this video could not have been possible without my good buddy lucas his links will be down in the description below make sure you guys go follow him he helped me find all of them and make an actual doc for it so i really appreciate his help if you guys do find this video helpful please make sure you leave a like before you leave and let's go ahead and jump right into it starting off with this guide we're going to do the green seal and all of the green uh spikes that are in the ground so this is where the green seal is as you can see it is in the top left hand corner of the map if you zoom in the big lake there is a little tiny uh block of like brown land if you zoom in a little bit further, you can see that there's like an actual pathway that even leads to it. So this is where you're going to want to go in order to get to the seal. All right, so this is going to be the location of the first green spike that is about as close to the seal as you can get. It is directly off to the right of it. As you can see, the seal was right here on the map. You're going to go directly off to the right and right where my character is uh, on the side of the mountain on the back side. You're going to see that there is a green spike right here. You're just going to walk up to it. Press A. All right, the next location for the next green spike, uh, I will show you in relationship to where the seal is again. The seal is right here. You're gonna go directly off to the left this time, and it is going to be right where my character is on the tip of this little group of mountains right here. Again, the seal is right here. You're gonna go off to the left. It is going to be on this set of mountains right here. All right, the next spike that you're gonna find, if the seal is right here, you're gonna go around the map around the lake the casseroya lake it is going to be right here on this little uh patch of mountain on the east side again seal is here it is going to be right on this little uh mountain on the east side as you can see it right here in front of me the next spike that you're going to go to is actually going to be in the middle of the lake so again uh seal is right here you're going to go right here to this little patch of uh, mountain and it is going to be directly in front of you all right the next one that you're going to go to seal is right here this one is going to be a little bit off to the right hand side of it you're going to go around there are a bunch of flying stations around here but it is going to be right on the cusp of the snow and river on this little patch of mountain right here so again just so you can see everything there is the Glacido, uh, Glaciado Mountain uh, flying location right here. You're just going to go right over to this patch of mountain, and it is going to be right in front of you. All right, this next one is also going to be in the lake. The seal is right here. You had this long island that had one on it, and then directly south of that island, there is a little tiny island. It is going to be on the uh, southeast uh, most part of it. Again, right in the middle of the lake. So this next one is going to be in a cave uh, near Kaskarafa. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to fly to this side, and then you're going to go straight through the desert, and you're going to go up. And then once you get up, there's a little tiny hole in the ground. Just fall in right here, and then follow the cave around to where my location is right here and you guys will be able to find this one right here once you have collected all of the spikes that i just showed you you're going to get this message right here it's going to pop up you heard a mysterious cry coming coming from the shrine then you're going to head back over to the seal i'll meet you over there Alrighty, guys now just for just for like 100 transparency i have not even completed the game yet uh, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys as quickly as possible So I am not going to be fighting this legendary so I want to save beforehand To ensure that I can just turn it off and I can come back here later uh, But I do want to at least show you guys where it is and what it looks like So once you've collected all of the spikes, you're just gonna come right up here You're gonna press a on the seal a sound is coming from within the shrine will you touch the shrine? Yes And there you go that is how you're gonna unlock the uh, the deer moose Pokemon Alrighty guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can unlock the tomb for Wo Xian and find all eight of the purple spikes. First off, the tomb for Wo Xian is going to be in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, this is where the academy is. The, the seal, the tomb of it is going to be right here. 
in this little uh, like corner of the map gonna be right in this little tiny corner uh, so just go here and this is where this is where you can start and now let's go find all the spikes Alrighty, this is gonna be one of the first spikes you can grab, or this is gonna be one of them, I guess I should say. You're gonna find the South Province Area 3. It is going to be on the direct east side of, um, of Mezagoza. It is going to be right here on a little cliff. You're gonna notice that, um, that with all of these, they're pretty much gonna be on cliffs. So it's gonna be right here on this little mountain. Another spike you can find is going to be right here in this little, uh, like circular area. Uh, if you want to have a little reference to it, Mezagoza, the academy is right here. It's going to be directly off to the southeast of it. It is going to be at the top of the spiral mountain, and that will be your second spike. Next spike you're gonna find it is going to be directly below Los Platos. If you find if you fly right here to this corner and you go literally directly down south, it is gonna be at the top of this mountain, right at the edge of where the water ends. And as you can see, it'll be right here in front of me. Alright, the next spot uh, that you can find is gonna be right here on the tip of this cliff. If you're wondering where that is. Zeposito is right here. Uh, technically, the map is this way. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go directly south until you're about to hit the sand, and it is going to be right on the border of the sand uh, and the grass, and it'll be right on this little overhang. This is going to be one of the easiest ones for you to find. All you're going to do is you're going to fly to Artisan. Uh, it is going to be this little pokey stop right here, and it is going to literally be directly south of it up on this little cliff. You can even still see the pokey stop from where this one is. Very easy to find. Alrighty, so the next one is going to be right here on the map. Easiest way to describe it, the swamp is right here, right? You're going to see this little crooked mountain. It is directly in front of the crooked mountain on this cliff. Uh, very, very, very easy to find. But uh, just for reference, as it goes is here, it is going to be right down in this corner. It is going to be directly above the ruin. Uh, so I will show you the ruin. It is right there. Ruin is right there. This is directly above it on the mountain. So just grab it right here and you guys will be all set. All right, so this next one is a little bit of in a weird situation. So it is going to be on this bottom cliff, but you could fly to this Pokestop right here as it goes a south. And then technically you're going to go east right along the ridge. Then you're going to climb up the mountain and it is going to be on the bottom part of this ledge. As you can see, the fence line goes right around there. You're going to come right over here and grab this one. All right, so the final sword or spike, whatever you want to call it, you can fly to Los Platos and you can go up or you could fly to um, Mezagoza South and fly down. And it is going to be just right on a ledge out here in between the two. If you fly right here, you'll see it very, very easily because it is a massive purple glowing spike. And there you have it. There's the cry. And now we're going to see that the seal has opened up. All right, now for full transparency, I am not going to be trying to capture this thing because I have not even completed the storyline. I just wanted to get this video to you guys as fast as you can. Once you've gotten all eight of the swords, you're going to come over here to the seal. I saved so I can uh, turn off my game and not worry about it. Hear a bit coming from the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? All right, guys, now for the blue seal and the blue spikes. The seal is actually going to be in this body of water at the very tippy top of the waterfall. There's actually going to be a little entrance to a cave. If you turn around right here behind me, you'll notice that you can swim back here. And this will be the entrance to the blue one. So this is where you can find the blue seal. So now, also, while I'm here, there's actually a blue sword directly above it. So let's just go ahead and grab that. In the pretty much exact same spot, directly above it. I believe it is directly above it up here. Literally, directly above it. You can find the first one super, super easily, as long as you just come to the seal first. The next one that you can find is actually right near Tag Tree Thicket. Uh, it's off to the left of it a little bit if you're looking at the map in the, like, the straight north south east west way uh easiest way to get there there is a glacidio uh or glacido gym 
Uh, you can just jump literally twice and you will land on a little green patch of mountain on the side and it is right here. Next sword, super easy to find. You're just going to fly right here inside the North Province Area 2. This is the bamboo area. Uh, very, very easy to find. Once you fly there, you're going to go directly north, uh, pretty much. Like, right, this is how the map normally is. You're just going to fly here, go directly up north. There's a little tiny mountain with a little smaller mountain on top of it, and their sword is going to be right here. All right, next sword area, there is a little tiny uh, indentation in the mountain right here. Um... Just so you can see where I am, Bamboo Forest is here. You can fly right here. You can fly straight down to this mountain, little indentation where there's like a place where all the gimme ghouls are. Sword is right here. All right, next uh, next little spot, you can fly to the uh, uh, Glacidio Mountain, or you can fly to the Bamboo Forest area, and you can fly directly into North Province Area 1 on this little tiny mountain. Well, it's not little, kind of little tiny, but little uh, mountain area here, just right here. All right, the next sword is going to be at the top of the ice mountain area. So if you're like here at the gym, uh, the gym Pokestop, it is going to be directly up into the right a little bit, right near the sea. If you zoom in enough, there is a tree and a little like alcove uh, area right here. Sword is directly in front of you. All right, next one is going to be here is the mountain that I keep telling you to fly to. It is going to be directly off to the east. You see this little uh, piece of mountain that kind of like almost looks like a giraffe rig or uh, like with the head of a flamingo. You're going to fly to the very edge of that. There is a tree. It is directly under the tree. All right. Next sword, you're going to go to uh, La Vincia and you're going to fly to this side of it. Right. Right over here, the north side. And then you're going to go up the ridge and it is going to be at the very tippy top of this mountain right here underneath this tree. And there you have it. There is the cry for the legendary of the seal being unlocked. All right, here we are. We're back. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the seal. Uh, see one of the coolest legendary Pokemon that I think we've ever had. I'm super excited for this Pokemon. Oh, wait, this isn't the one I was thinking about. <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought this was the, the, um, the... Sabertooth Tiger. I guess we'll save the best for last then. All right, guys, this is where you can find the gold seal. Uh, this is going to unlock the final Pokemon. You're going to fly right here to the West Province Area 1 Central. Uh, this is basically where you can do the rock dropping po the crane Pokemon uh, challenge. Just go here. Just go straight up the mountain. You can fall down two levels, and then it'll be just right here on the side of the mountain. All right, so first sword we're going to talk about, you can fly right here to this little town called Cortando. You're going to go technically south uh, because, like, the school is here, hometown is here, right? You're going to fly here. You're going to go straight south, and at this little waterfall, it is going to be on this side of the cliff. You can look. You can see everything around, and this is going to be one of the first ones. All right, the next sword that you're going to go to, you're going to fly right here to Alford... Alfordandana. Alfordandana. There's a little tiny lake right above it uh, that has a um, little like pillar floating out of it. It's going to be on this patch of land right here where I am currently standing. All right, so this next one is a little bit confusing to find. So if you fly to Alfordana or Al, yeah, Alfordana, and you go straight down here towards where the shore is, um, if you zoom out a little bit more, you can see. It's actually north of the city, right? So you're going to fly here. You're going to go straight up north and you're going to go pretty much all the way down to the very bottom of like this layer of cliffs. You're going to go to the first one, the very first one. At, you can see how close I am to the to the shore right there. You're going to turn around and there is actually a cave right in here. This is where the spike is. So this one is actually a little bit confusing to find because if I just pin it on the map, you can't find it because it's in a cave. So uh, a little bit confusing to find, but hopefully this makes it a little bit easier for you. All right. So the next spike that you're going to fly to, you're going to fly right here. The West Province Area 1 Central, the same place that you uh, went pretty much for the... Um, the other one that I mentioned before, and you're going to fly to uh, this little spot right here. Now, this spot is actually an indentation, and it is going to be in the middle down here. So pretty easy to find. Um, it's, it's, actually a, it's actually a really cool spot. 
All right, so this next spike is going to be behind the water gym area. So you're going to fly into Cascarafa, and it is going to be right here under this massive tree here, as you can see. Alrighty, guys, next one that you're going to find. Uh, it's very, very close to where the other one was, uh, which was right here. You're going to fly right here to West Province 1 Watchtower, or you can still fly here, and you're going to fly up to this little tiny mountain range uh, directly next to it. I believe it is this way. Um, is how the map sits, right? I believe this is how the map sits, like this. So it's going to be directly south of it. So uh, you're going to fly here, go directly south, and it's going to be on this little tiny mountain near a uh, almost dead tree. All right, next one you're going to go to, you're going to fly right here to West Province 1 Central, and uh, it is going to be right on this cliff here on the side. There's three of them. You're going to go to the lowest one, as you can see, uh, well, I guess technically not the lowest. There's just three of them, but it's gonna be right here on the edge. Alrighty, guys, this, uh, this, this, I think this might be the last sword. I can't really remember, honestly. This one is a, it, it's pure luck to find it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So the, um, the school's right here. Pokemon League is right here. It's gonna be like directly next to Pokemon League at the very bottom in this little tiny alcove. And there you have it, there's the cry. Let's go back to the seal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save in case I don't catch it. Make sure you guys have auto save turned off. Oh, it is so cool looking. I love this Pokemon. All right, guys, and there you have it. That is where you can find every single spike. You can find every single dark type legendary uh, that do exist in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure you leave a like and stick around for more videos.